number four, we first draw the horizontal tabletop and the book sliding at a horizontal speed of four meters per second. The trajectory would be that of projectile motion one. And in this case, you are given the time of flight, which is 0 0.5 seconds. In letter A, you are asked what is the height of the tabletop above the floor. This is in question. What is y? To solve for letter A, the equation that we will need is y e equals v sub i t plus one half g t squared. v sub i initially is equal to zero. So zero multiplied by time will give us zero. 1 half, and the g is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The time of flight is given 0 0.5 seconds. So for this in your calculator, you will get 1.225 meters. This is rounded off to just 1 meter. In letter B, what is the horizontal distance from the edge of this table to the point where the book strikes the floor? We are looking for the range. <clears throat> the formula for range is V sub X multiplied by time. In this case, the V sub X is constant all throughout until it reaches this point. It is still the same, 4 meters per second. So 4 meters per second multiplied by the time of flight 0.5 seconds, you will get 2 meters. Rounding this off, you will get 2 meters. In letter C, what is the horizontal and vertical components of its velocity once it reaches the floor? So V sub X remains the same, and V sub Y, we have to compute for that. So in letter C, our answer for the horizontal component is 4 meters per second. And for V sub Y, we have to use this kinematic equation, V sub F is equal to V sub I plus GT. For the Y axis, V sub I is always equal to zero because there is no movement along the Y axis yet at this point. So G is negative 9.8 meters per second squared and the time of flight is 0 0.5 seconds. So 0 0.5 seconds. Multiplying these two, you will get negative 4.9 <coughs> meters per second. Rounding off, you have <coughs> negative 5 meters per second. This now is the vertical component of speed once the book reaches the floor.